Hi guys, we're back. We're going to talk about PEEP today, positive end expiratory pressure. This is the new, the new standard that we're going to. Our department just recently got these to go in our bag valve mass. Uh, obviously, they're on all ventilators. Um, what this does is this maintains pressure at the end of expiration. When you recruit alveoli, you recruit it by bagging the patient. Positive pressure ventilation recruits alveoli. A PEEP valve maintains recruitment. The two ways that you increase oxygenation in a patient is FiO2 and PEEP. And so if your SATs are not coming up and your FiO2 is at 80, bump that up to 100, bump your PEEP up to 10. We all have, we all have intrinsic PEEP, two to five, whatever the books say. Uh, so if taking this, I know we were dialed in at my other job for years, don't go past five. Now we have the leeway to go all the way up to 20, and we just go up in increments. And so I'm gonna show you how this works on our, on our pig lungs. Place it in here. You wanna dial it to where you want it. You do proper bagging techniques, one-handed. And you can see that it's the positive pressure is recruiting the alveoli, and the peep is maintaining recruitment. Little by little, the alveoli are coming up. I'm sorry, that is an offensive noise, but look at these lungs. Now look what happens. Let's say, oh, I need to suction the patient or I need to take them off the ventilator or, or we have to move them. You take it off, I've got all this recruitment, but now I take this off, look what happens. All that work you did, it's gone. And you're gonna have to start over again. So once you get this on, clamp it. If you're gonna take it off, just so the air doesn't come out, you don't lose your recruitment. And then once you're done, you just put it back on to start ventilating. 